muscular system or muscles of the body the muscular system form about the half of the body weight the muscular tissue has the property of contractility which means the capacity of to become short in response to the stimulus the muscles are classified into three types number one smooth muscles or plain muscles or non striated muscles present in all walls of blood vessels and the viscera it is involuntary number two cardiac muscle found only on the heart it is also involuntary then last type is the skeletal muscles they have an origin from a fixed bone and the insertion into movable bone the each skeletal muscle has at least one nerve supply it is voluntary muscles both of the muscles this is a fleshy or billy part of the muscle this tendon for the muscle and this is or this is aponeurosis for the muscle the muscle action is one of the following number one brim mover the chief muscle of the movements called the brim mover muscle number two antagonistic muscle which oppose the action of brim mover and should relax if the brim mover contracts fixator muscle contracts isometrically to stabilize the joint synergist muscle when brim mover cross several joints so the muscle control unwanted movements in the intermediate joints the action of the muscle depends on many factors as length number and direction of the muscle fibers not all muscle fibers contract at the same time but number of contracted muscle fibers depends on the power needed the muscle tone a minimal degree of contraction during rest the contracted muscle is shortened to about two-thirds of its initial length during rest muscle contraction this is relaxed muscle here and this is a contracted muscle decrease in length about one-third decrease the types of skeletal muscles according to direction of fibers the skeletal muscles are divided according to the direction of fibers into four types number one parallel fibers the fibers parallel to each other like that this is parallel fibers then unipinnate fibers attach it to one side of the tendon this is unipinnate attach it only to one side of the tendon then bipinnate fibers attach it for both sides if it is the opposite side also become bipinnate muscle then multipinnate series of bipinnate muscles are adjacent to each other like this one this is multipinnate lastly circumpinnate the fibers attached all around the tendon this is the tendon and the fibers attached all around types of skeletal muscles according to shape strap like as sartorius muscle strap like number two quadrate as quadratus femoris muscle number three fusiform as palmaris lusus fusiform as palmaris longus muscle then spiral as latissimus dorsi muscle triangular as temporalis muscle in the head and the neck circular as orbicularis oculi muscle or orbicularis oris this is quadrate muscle strap like here this is triangular muscle as is the spiral muscle this is triangular and this is crochet type types of skeletal muscle according to site of attachment and the crossing of the joints skeletal muscles according to the size of attachment either bony attachment most of the striated muscles have bony origin and the bony insertion but some muscles attach it to the skin as muscles of the face the muscles attach it to the deep fascia as muscles inserted in the fascia lata of the thigh like tensor fasciolata muscle muscles attach it to ligaments as external oblique muscles of the abdomen attached to the linea alba 
and forming the inguinal ligament. The skeletal muscles, according to crossing of the joints, at least the skeletal muscle cross one joint, but sometimes they cross more than one joint. According to that, called uniarticular, when cross one joint only as brachialis, biarticular, acting on two joints as sartorius, multiarticular, when the muscle acting in more than two joints as muscles acting on the fingers. This is muscles cross more than one joint. Sartorius muscle cross hip joint and cross also the knee joint.